Shalom all international listeners. This month say Shabbat, it is going to be the Hilula, the yard site of a very great rabbi who was a Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva Torah Yosef in Jerusalem. His name was Chacham Yehuda Tzadka, Rav Yehuda Tzadka, naturally. His family, his parents were actually from Baghdad in Iraq originally. And uh, in fact, his father was a merchant in Baghdad and married the niece of the Ben Shchai, the illustrious Ben Shchai. So however, Rav Tzadka, he uh, was born in Jerusalem at the end, they moved, they came as uh, immigrants from uh, Baghdad to Jerusalem and he learned in the Yeshivat Ben Sion at a very very young age and after Bar Mitzvah he became a student at the Yeshivat Parat Yosef where he would end up spending more than seven, nearly 70 years after that so and, and so so forth. So he became a student of Chacham Ezra Atiya, who I believe at the time was the Rosh Yeshiva of Parat Yosef and also learned inside the Be'er Sheva Synagogue a chunk of the day it was and it was the whole time whole time learning he actually learned every Friday night in the famous synagogue in Jerusalem the the synagogue of the name of the Shoshanim Le David synagogue Beit Knesset this is what, something I believe the Ben Ishchai was very much part of uh, instituting originally so he uh, in the year 1937 when he was at a very young age in his mid-twenties Chacham Ezra Atiya actually appointed him as a senior lecturer in the Yeshivat Porat Yosef and listen to this he had a star-studded uh, student academy of his first class comprised of five incredible huge rabbonim including Chacham Obadi Yosef, Rav Obadi Yosef naturally also Rabbi Ben Sion Abba Shaul also there was Rabbi Yehuda Moalem also a very famous rabbi there was a Rabbi Baruch Ben Hayim who became a great Syrian rabbi I believe in America and also Rabbi Chacham Ezra Ades also so five illustrious rabbonim that became well known for writing loads of books and uh, lecturing to millions in combination of them and he was actually very famous for teaching in the Sephardic style the Gemara respectively he taught the Maharsha and the Maharam and uh, that was his style and also taught Musar he taught the book the Mistilat Yesharim a l large chunk of the day and he had a knack to love the Torah love the rabbonim and love doing mitzvot he was very quick at doing the mitzvot the whole time and he was also a dayan he was a, he was technically a judge but he didn't necessarily use his dead he got offered positions in a prominent batei dinim but he didn't do it he wanted to dedicate his time to teaching and to learning most of the day and it was actually um, he actually encouraged uh, parents a lot of the parents that became immigrants from the arab lands uh, to send their kids to uh, Torah schools in Israel, not necessarily to go to the secular schools. And many, many families were mitzchazek and became uh, very abundant in Torah. And even nowadays, uh, we see the riping benefits of a lot of the grandchildren are all uh, Torah luminaries, even nowadays. And it was in the year 1970, Rav uh, uh, Ezra Atiya, the great rabbi, uh, Rosh Hashiva Parat Yosef, passed away. And he was instituted the Rosh Hashiva Parat Yosef, Chacham Yehuda Tzadka was. And he was very humble. They put the title under the door of Rosh Hashiva. But he didn't want to uh, necessarily take any glory, let's just say, and anything like that. And it was actually in the year 1984, 14 years later, he actually authored the book, the Kol Yehuda, which comprised of Halachik work and also of Agadata from the Gemara, respectively. And uh, he, but however, later on, towards the end of his life, he had uh, various health problems and uh, suffered suffered a lot. And uh, he was even when he was in the hospital, he was uh, getting up at midnight for Tikon Chatzot. He would daven Tikon Chatzot. And he would also naturally uh, dub a net at sunrise the whole time. And in fact, there's a story saying that Rav Shach actually visited him in hospital at one stage when he was uh, in a lot of pain. And he was in intensive care, Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Huda Tzadka was. He was in intensive care. And you know what he was doing? He was actually delved into studying Torah while in intensive care. That's how much his uh, mind was glued inside the Torah. And it was actually, I believe, he, uh, after Tzom Gedali of the year 1991, he su suffered a heart attack and was in and out of hospital and passed away in October 1991. So that was uh, the 12th of Hachvan, which is uh, this calendar date. Uh, so that's going to be tomorrow night, the uh, Hilul at your site is. And then it came later on that uh, his, uh, his preset sister was uh, going to be Rab Ben Sion Abashaul, who actually was his student originally. He became the Rosh Shiva for eight years, and then uh, till nowadays, in 1998, when Rab Ben Sion Abashaul passed away, it was Rabbi Moshe Tzadka, his son, 
that became the Rosh Hashiva of Parat Yosef, and he is still the Rosh Hashiva of Parat Yosef today, and aged at 87 now. So he's been now nearly for 25 years, uh, an entire generation. So his legacy lives on. His kids are obviously uh, great, great Rosh Yeshivot at the moment, and uh, he lives a great treasure chest of uh, teachings. And it's his Hilula, make his uh, Neshama. Be protecting all of our Israel over the world and uh, we're coming into after the elections here in Israel and uh, obviously uh, there's a lot of divided opinion on things but make his neshama be protecting all of us and make sure that it's going to be a peaceful period for Israel and all of Israel is going to love its neighbors because he was a man that loved everybody he had a, a, a passion for all of him Israel guys Shabbat Shalom Vrach and uh, enjoy